Hi, I'm Jessie, your host, and welcome to a new episode of Marketing Talks by OSB. Today, I have Rudy Hashash with me. Hello, Rudy. Hi, Jessie. Thank, thank you. Thank you for joining. this opportunity uh, to uh, come on your podcast. I'm really honored. Thank you. Um, today, you are with us so we can talk about the impact of AI on digital marketing, yes. and which is a hot topic, especially AI. It's every week we have something new, something changing, something evolving. Uh, let me say, Rudy, that you are a, a film and video creator. You are the producer of Star at, at uh, on MTV Lebanon, and also you are an AI expert. And this is why we would love to hear everything about, uh, from you about AI. But maybe let's start first by saying, what do you mean by AI? Because uh, we, I heard there are so many types of AI now. So yes, we can start with the basics, uh, like the real basics. What exactly is artificial intelligence? I mean, how do you... Uh, how do you define intelligence? Even human intelligence is hard to define. So how do you define something called artificial intelligence? Yes. Well, it's uh, it's honestly trying to mimic something that we do as humans. Okay. Uh, but the, the AI that we know uh, is something, there's two types of AIs. There's like narrow AI and there's broad AI. Okay. What we usually use uh, for automotive uh, tasks, like, I mean, the, the Google, it's for very specific tasks, for okay. example, how to get from this point to this point using Google Maps. This is called narrow AI. Okay. Uh, the AI that turns on your heater and regulates the temperature, that is uh, a narrow AI. Now, okay. what we see now is like a boom in uh, AI and something called large language models. Okay. And uh, this type of AI is... Uh, it tries to simulate human uh, speech, and this is why it's it's gotten so much uh, rage uh, recently. Okay. Because you have a machine that talks like a human. Mm -hmm. Now the way they got there is really complicated, and I won't get into that. Yes. But uh, let's say it's got. It, they're trying to uh, mimic the way the human brain works. Okay. It works on uh, via, uh, using neural networks, which are a bit like uh, the the brain neurons that yes. are in the uh, in the uh, in the human brain and they transmit signals to each other and learn uh, in the process. Okay. So what this AI can do, this new AI, this large language model AI, is take in a lot of data and classify that data and uh, in a way that humans or the human brain cannot process. Cannot so what process, they do let's is, say, quickly. But uh, if they do the effort, maybe not, they could do it, no? No, 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 not even not with even. effort because the amount of data that is available is, is, is in trillion, is in let's say thousands and thousands of pages. No wow. human will be able to do that. The thing that the AI does is take this AI in specific, yes. uh, the large language model, is take all this uh, information and then give you the output in a human, uh, let's say human-like uh, manner. Okay, so that we can absorb and understand quickly. So that we can uh, understand. All right, and uh, how AI is adopted in digital marketing? Hala, uh, how is it uh, being adopted in digital marketing? It's it's being adopted in a way uh, to personalize the experience more to, uh, for the end uh, user. user. Yes. Uh, the the way uh, marketing used to work uh, before it was more of an intuition. I, the, the people uh, they look at trends, they look at what people want, and they use the, people use their intuition to come up with uh, a strategy. Now it's a bit different. The AI is starting to uh, accumulate this data that they have. And uh, during this data, they make uh, user-specific uh, experiences. So they know your patterns. They know uh, what you browse uh, on, uh, on the internet. For example, if you stayed uh, two seconds more on a social media feed for uh, a sweater, it's going to start giving you uh, sweater ads, sweater ads yes. uh, all the time. Nice. So it's becoming more personalized than before. But what about privacy here? Uh, exactly. Well, that's the, th that's the <laughs> so thing. I know Each... I like sweaters, so yeah. I'm getting sweater ads. So it's like they know what I like. Exactly. I mean, uh, whenever any app that you use, there's a user agreement. And uh, quite honestly, everyone just presses yes, OK. Yes, I agree. <laughs> but yes, I agree. But you don't know what you're agreeing to. Yeah. You are actually agreeing to that. Uh -huh. You're agreeing. If you don't uh, want it, you've got to say no, and you won't be able to use the app. Yes. And each app is different. The worst, I think, I don't want to bash any app uh, down, but the, most, the one that's have been having the most problems is TikTok because it really invades the privacy. And other than that, it has the ability and uh, to... Uh, to sell your data or share your data 
with other companies, with, uh, with other platforms. So this is uh, an ongoing issue with uh, privacy and with ethics. Mm. Definitely, definitely. So can we say AI has a positive impact on digital marketers, the way they do their job, since it's facilitating the way yes. they should personalize the ads, let's say, or the exactly. campaigns? Exactly. It will, uh, it will, it AI has a will positive. definitely, it's a positive. I think AI uh, will have a positive impact on our lives in every aspect. It's, it, any tasks that can be automated, the AI will do it. Faster. And will leave, it will do it faster, it will do it better, better and more, and, effective, uh, more effectively. Yeah. It will leave the creative uh, part for the humans. Mm -hmm. So uh, creativity is something that's really uh, just for humans. Until now, AI has not been able to be as creative as human. As human yeah. The way it works, you'll say that ChatGPT is uh, creative uh, when you tell it to uh, create something. But no, it's not creative. It's actually taking data from, from uh, previous, previous, uh, uh, work uh, previous or... data that, do, uh, that works or stuff that humans have done and then yes. coming out with a different uh, output. It's not coming up with something new by itself. Mm. But what they're working towards is AGI which is uh, artificial general intelligence. And this is their next, uh, this is where it's get, it gets scary. And this is, uh, this is where it might replace humans and oh. it might get even better uh, than humans in certain stuff. So, I heard, uh, um, I mean, we everyone heard that Google and Facebook, they laid off a lot of employees. Yes. So can we say this is because of AI? Yes, a lot of jobs. A lot of, uh, I, I was reading an interesting article a few days ago on uh, BuzzFeed. Uh, you know BuzzFeed, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's a website that uh, does like uh, light articles, uh, you know, uh, articles that do not require a lot of uh, research, uh, like news articles. Okay, not so, scientific. Not very scientific, not a lot of research, not a lot of effort going into it. And one of these uh, authors that uh, was on was hearing the whole time that AI is going to come for your job. The AI is going to come for your job. And he was afraid all the time until in the end, like two weeks ago, AI did come for the job and he was replaced by, by AI. Wow. Because companies uh, will measure. They'd say that, okay, the, the content that's generated, it does, it does not have that human touch, but it's worth it because it's much cheaper than a human. Yeah. So uh, this is, this, this, there's a delicate balance. Do you want something that's automated? which is not as good, or do you want something that's human and that's, um, that has error, that has a human touch? So this is up to companies. But still, even there, we're, we're, still, not, um, we're still not safe yes. because it's evolving so fast that it will get to a point where you will not be able to tell that this is AI generated and this is human generated. It will have the ability to give emotions like a human, be creative as a human, not now, but it's moving very, very, fast. very fast. I mean, I left, I went for vacation for a, a week. And in that week, the amount that ch of changes that came into the market is astounding. In all fields of AI, wow. we're, we're talking about now marketing in specific, but if you open and see other fields, the, it's, the boom is uh, exponential and it will continue to be exponential. Nice. Nice. In just one week, you, in you just witnessed one week, changes. I in witnessed just one changes week. that I haven't seen in a year. Things okay. that would take years for for it to happen to happened the, over the coding, a, a, maybe. Oh. Yeah, happened over a period of uh, oh. of a a week. For example, for example, there's now uh, there's some, something which is really really big. It's text to video. Text to video. So you give the AI text, and it will generate a video. Wow. Uh, the, the, the name for that. By is, video, are we saying an animated picture? An animated video, yes. Okay. A, an animated, a series of animated uh, picture, uh, videos. Okay. Uh, the, the video is like two, three seconds uh, ah. long. It's not going to be that big now. Okay. It's still at, uh, in a beta phase okay. and they're just testing it. Yes. But it is improving. Now uh, they, it's called Runway, Runway ML. Okay. The first generation was called Gen 1. And this was a year ago. It came okay. out a year ago. So what you do is you give it input. You give it, for example, I'd like to see a sea with a sunset and a bear uh, drinking uh, a, beer. a bottle, a beer. <laughs> and it will generate those frames. It's not that good yet, but if you look at the amount and the progress of how fast it is progressing, we know that in two, three years from now, 
They can AI come up with a able, full movie. Yes, they can come AI up with a full movie. will be able to come up with a full movie. And there's even talks that AI will be winning an Oscar oh. uh, in animation two years from now. They expect that uh, to happen. So even AI is a threat to Hollywood and Bollywood now? Yes, it is. It is a, it's, not, it's not a threat. More of a, you should, I don't think we should uh, treat AI as a threat, more as something that will make our lives easier and faster and more efficient. Okay. So let's go back to uh, uh, Runway. To the two, yeah. <clears throat> now they came up with uh, Runway uh, Gen 2. Gen 2, okay. So uh, you just give it uh, the prompt and the quality of the image improved drastically. It's uh, even, uh, I could say, even usable now as video and you will not even know that if it's, if it's, really recorded uh, by someone, someone or, or not. Okay. So uh, we'll have to wait and see where they're going uh, with it, but it's very, very, very promising. And I even knew that AI can uh, come up with your own voice. Ah, uh, yes, uh, exactly. Your own, uh, per uh, let's say I record myself and then I input my uh, voice and then uh, they will uh, do the lip sync. Uh, yes, yes, So yes. that uh, I don't that, have there... to record a full, let's say if I'm a, new, a news anchor or uh, they could do it on my behalf. Uh, yeah. They did it this on uh, Qatar uh, Qatar TV. We are yes. we are at the yes yes a, 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 a lot of people. Uh, you have to see that the technology is still very 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 new. So uh, you will be able to, to to know that this is AI or not. But we are at that stage. You can give it. A, there's a lot of uh, steps to take to get to that point. Let's say you. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, what you're saying. Okay. You, you want to, to make an avatar of yourself yes. that uh, takes your place and talks. Yeah. So uh, first of all, you have to give your voice, yes. train your AI to a voice. So uh, you read a text, yes. like uh, a two a or three paragraph. minute uh, ah, okay. long uh, paragraph. The more you give it, the better. Okay. There's a lot of websites. One of them is uh, Speechify. It's a really yes. good one. And Eleven Labs is one of the best Okay. Uh, for vo voice cloning. So what it does, you give them... Uh, you talk and then it will start to learn how you talk the ah. more you give it the better it will be the more they will and then you it. just give it the text and it will give you the whole voice over nice. this is for the voice yes. after that you take a picture of yourself you yes. go to another ai and you tell it to make an avatar of you it's called clone ai something like okay. i'm not very sure about the name okay you give it your picture and it will give you a 3d avatar an animated avatar of yourself so once you give it the speech, it will lip sync. The, the lips will move exactly the same as uh, the... Wow. But uh, the problem that they have is the facial expressions. Yes. And they're course. working on it. So this is why it, it still looks fake. Ah. But uh, they're, still, they're starting to work on the facial expressions, these that uh -huh. are very human. Okay. And they're getting there. Okay. Uh, uh, any other tools maybe graphic designers could oh, use wow. for social media? Okay, no, graphic uh, design. Because I'm sure if they, we could do a video, I'm sure we can do a full post for social media with the exactly. caption. I think that ChatGPT could help us with the caption as well. Let's work with, uh, let's start with the graphic designers. What uh, all graphic designers know Adobe and uh, yes. uh, Photoshop. Yes. Everyone's heard of Photoshop. Photoshop just, uh, uh, just released a new AI called uh, Firefly. What it does is it automatically generates whatever selection that you take. For example, you have a picture of, um, let's say, you okay. sitting here. Uh, you just make a selection on the watch that uh, you have on, okay? Okay. And you, pay, uh, you, you write the description of whatever thing you want to have another watch. You can write, I want to have a blue watch. Okay. It will generate a blue watch in seconds, uh. a thing that would take, a, a designer like an hour to do to make it uh, change, uh, the color. To, to change the color to yeah. change all that it will do in seconds it wow. can generate things that are not there even ah. uh, you can just select your jacket for example and uh, change the color it to yeah oh. make it a red jacket make it a leather jacket ah. change your hair oh. change anything <laughs> anything you want in cool. seconds okay so and the imagine. caption as well uh, for captions yes. uh, uh, for captions uh, there are a lot of again captions use l large language models okay. let's let's just have that the, 
let's just say there's not only ChatGPT on the market. ChatGPT was the only uh, was the first thing that came out, but now we have a lot of other large language models. Okay. Uh, they're called large language models because they talk like uh, humans. You think that a human uh, is talking. Okay. So uh, we have ChatGPT. We have uh, the new uh, AI powered by uh, Bing and ChatGPT. Yeah. The uh, Google, uh, Google AI, yes. uh, which is uh, Bard, and uh, a lot of others. That, uh, Google also has a, a large language model which is not released to the public called uh, Lambda, I think, which is going to surpass uh, ChatGPT. There's a lot of things cooking okay. that will uh, not come out uh, right now. They'll come up later. But to come back to your point uh, about generating captions, it's very easy. Just by one click, you can just tell the AI, generate a caption for me for this image. Um, and I'd like it to have uh, uh, hashtags that are the SEO, uh, search engine Trendy, optimized, yeah. and all that and it will do it for you. Now, the thing is, with these uh, things, you get AI detection tools. Yes. And people will know that your, AI, that your work is AI generated. Okay. But I'll give you a tip. There's also a way to bypass that. Yes. So after, after letting the AI generate something, content for you. You copy paste in another AI. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell your stu students are gonna <laughs> love this. So you just take uh, the whatever the you text. got generated yes. and you put it in another AI which paraphrases thing, things and you come up with a with whatever you want, whatever result it gives and then you just put it again inside and it will give you 100% human made. So if you if your I'm students sorry to wanted, disappoint you, but yes. even us from our side, we even have a tool now that can detect if the text is AI protected or not. So, even, no, yes. even if it's double, uh, yes, even yes. if it's, no, I don't think so. Don't think Are you so. sure? We should double check. We should, we should double check. Both I'll of double us. check. Yes. So, so, so your students won't be able to uh, <laughs> Listen, cheat. we tell them, um, yeah. basically their projects, uh, it's not just about the writing part. It's exactly. about the analysis, the strategic thinking. So I, I'm not sure AI would give them the answers. AI could write it maybe for them, but yeah, not exactly. giving them the full answer. So we're safe till now. You're safe till now. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and can we say at a certain point, uh, will AI AI become more intelligent than us as humans? I, I, honestly, I hope so. You hope so? Yes, I hope so. Because this, this will help the humanity to uh, advance. And to advance to, uh, to reach potentials it hasn't been able to reach. Okay. okay, we have, okay, I mean, there is that question of ethics, morality, and all that. But honestly, I'm more, as me, this is a personal opinion. I'm more inclined to technology and advancements of human civilizations more than ethics uh, and how AI is going to be used. So I hopefully, I, I really hope that AI will surpass human intelligence. And but it, we will get to that point. We will get uh, Sam, Sam Altman, which is the CEO of uh, ChatGPT, did say that ChatGPT is showing sparks of uh, artificial general intelligence. So uh, it is showing sparks of human uh, intelligence. Okay. What, but it needs, it, what but does way, AI need that to be like a, a human? It needs eyes to see. It, yeah. it needs uh, to be able to reason, to think. It needs to be able to hear. It needs to be able to touch. And all that is happening now. AI can see now. Uh, the new plugins that have been added to ChatGPT allow it to see images. Okay. So you can give it an image and it can actually see it. Hatta, even if you want, you can write something with your hand, scribble okay. something, or scribble a design if you want for an app. Uh, give it to ChatGPT and it will generate the app for you. It does recognize this. It also recognizes music now. The new, there are new AI models from Google that can generate uh, music and can even see a picture. For example, you give it a picture of a tiger with a waterfall. And you ask that, what is that? It will actually tell you this is a tiger. It's behind it is a waterfall. And it will generate sounds of the tiger and the waterfall. This is where we're getting. Oh. So we're really advancing. We're really moving very, very, very fast. But why Elon Musk and other CEOs uh, were, were they afraid. kind of, yeah, they were afraid and they kind of started a move and they even uh, signed a petition, a petition. Uh, so that uh, AI should slow down a little bit. He even said AI could cause civil civilization destruction. Yeah, it is. Uh, let, let me go. 
they did, everyone did sign that, a lot of people, but I think it's a double-edged uh, thing. I think they tried that as a marketing uh, plan yeah. because as a marketing uh, push, hello, okay, uh, AI is getting out of control and should be uh, put under control and there should be rules, there should be ethics, and a lot of uh, European governments have already started on uh, implementing rules and all that. But in another place, I think Elon Musk was not, uh, uh, is not at, uh, like, um, the front runner in this race, uh -huh. and a lot of these companies are also not front runners. Okay. So they're afraid of this front runner right now, which is ChatGPT, which is taking everything uh, by storm. And this is why they're telling everyone that blah, we should slow down. But I don't think they should slow down. I think they just yeah. go full throttle. I like adrenaline, so I think we should just push forward. <laughs> Even uh, Sam Altman, the, the, the CEO of ChatGPT, Chat GPT. said that he does have concerns about of what he unleashed. He, he used that word. He's afraid of what he unleashed. Unleashed, yeah, and it's, he and doesn't no know more, it's no, yeah. unknown. And it may be a monster. It may be something that we don't know. Because now what AI is able to do, they've, they've been doing tests now, that like a playground for AIs. So this, they let the AI interact with each other. Okay. They leave one AI to uh, generate an app. They let another AI evaluate that app. After it evaluates the app, it builds up on it and it gives it its ideas. And then another AI comes in, looks at that idea, builds up on it. So it's exponential. It's that fast. Mm. So uh, it's it's uncontrollable. Even they even I think uh, Google was once uh, doing a test between two AIs. They let two AIs talk with each other. Okay. They started talking in human language uh, at, the, at the start. And okay. then suddenly they switched to another language. They came up with a language in seconds, okay. which we did not understand. And they started communicating with each other. Oh. And, uh, and uh, they didn't understand what was, the, I mean, the researchers were not understanding what was happening and what they were talking about. So they had to shut it down. Oh. Okay, yeah, it, is, uh, it does need rules. And it, not, it does need to be regulated, and uh, it is scary. It is scary. Yeah, it is. But you're with it. <laughs> it is. But Listen. still, I like it, and I'm with it. Yeah, and I, I would like to just talk a little bit more yeah. about the benefits of AI on social media. Yes, on social media. The impact on, on the algorithm and the personalization. Uh, when we gave the example of the sweater earlier. Yeah. But uh, there's also the uh, the chatbot, the timing of the running the campaign. Exactly. Now and changing uh, version uh, A uh, versus B in front of the people once they are browsing. So uh, if we could just talk a bit more about the it benefits. Is, it uh, is more uh, automated uh, now. The process of posting on social media is very automated. This yeah. is AI can take care of that. It can uh, uh, post when it sees uh, the best time Peak is. Time, and there's yeah. a lot of uh, apps that do that. Yeah. And, uh, Anyone Th can that use was before it. AI. No, but, but but it is AI. But that's the thing. Ah, okay. AI so has mean, been around hmm. for years and years. But, but you're we hearing didn't about call it, it back now. Down AI. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You're hearing about it now because of this new uh, chat GPT and large language models and something called generative uh, AI. So that's why you're hearing so much uh, about it. But uh, AI has been there uh, all Be this time. Before ChatGPT. Yeah, but ChatGPT Chat just uh, started the buzz it around just, it. Uh, the, the, it just like, uh, exploded it more and it helped, uh, it helped like, better the, the already available chatbots. So now when you're talking to a chatbot, now, I mean, you don't need any more someone uh, physically there present to answer questions. Chatbots can actually do that for you. We give them the answers so you just give ahead them of time. Ahead of time, you just train the you train them. This is called machine learning. You train the AI on a specific algorithm, on a specific data, and it will uh, be able to answer all your customer services uh, Amazing. that way in yeah. a quick manner. Unless yeah, maybe there's something complicated, then we move to a human uh, uh, exactly uh, the, uh, uh, intervention. Uh, I wasn't. Uh, it, 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 it can do even more than that. Uh, there was a small example that uh, I, I have. You can have an AI call a restaurant, do a reservation for you uh, in in a click. So you tell the AI uh, browse. Uh, I'd like to have Italian. Browse for me the best places for <laughs> Italian, and it will give you a list. I recommend this. Okay, it, it, in one click, it can call the restaurant. Reserve. It will talk to him. It will oh. talk. And you will not know that an AI is talking. And I've seen a video of that, an AI making cool. a reservation and confirming the reservation with the, 
uh, with the other person. So imagine just where we're moving and, uh, nice. and how big uh, this thing will be. So it looks very promising. It is. It is very promising. We're going into something unknown, scary, but yet uh, very exciting. Hala, uh, it's uh, a bit um, too invasive. Yes. It's a ah. bit too invasive, yeah. I think, but I, I don't mind. Do you mind it? Uh, no, from a digital marketing point of view yeah. and the time that we sh had to shrink, I mean, uh, the, the time we had to save. I mean, how was your job? Uh, uh, exactly. How, how the, easier, how much easier is it now? Even, even from an academic point of view, we can get uh, specific articles for our chapters to discuss them with the students. And from a digital marketing perspective, the, the captions that we talked about and the design, we, we saved so much time per day now. So I, I am positive as well, but there's a question mark regarding the scary there's part. A, the, yeah, uh, the, the thing is, uh, you, soon, very soon, you will not be able to know what is AI generated, what is not. Even videos, let's not talk about videos, let's start with uh, photos. If uh, there are some text to image uh, AIs which generate photos right now, which you will not know are, uh, if are, they are real or, or fake, not, yeah. it's uh, mid journey. Mm -hmm. And if you look at uh, the, this AI, if you look at how it worked, how it was like in version one, they're now at version 5.2. If you look at mid-journey, mid version one, you'll just see like random images, uh, like, uh, a, a uh, like the car is out of place, the, the, the lines are out of place. But if you look at them now, it's really, really impressive. You will not be able not to know. Able, no, no, no. Um, They've even it. generated like uh, I, th I think you've seen in the, on the internet everywhere like Trump being arrested. Yes. Uh, the Pope wearing and the Pope uh, with the jacket. Uh, this is this was this was in version four. So wow. imagine now, so now version five point two what wow. what, it, what it can do. That's amazing. So that's th so how do you filter that? How do you filter that in marketing? That's the tough thing to know. How do you filter what is real, what is not? Uh, I mean, there's always a way to maliciously use AI, but of there's course. always a good way to use it. So it depends on the person behind the AI and the person using, using it. it. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Rudy, thank you so much for oh, so it was a all pleasure. those information. Uh, I really enjoyed our talk today. Uh, thanks for sticking around and we'll see you in the next episode of Marketing Talk. <laughs>